I broke my back when I was 17 years old. I was backcountry snowboarding when I over-rotated a backflip and landed on a rock that was underneath the snow. I haven't always been in a wheelchair, but I became paralyzed when I was 12 years old due to an autoimmune condition called transverse myelitis. A large tiger shark came from underneath me, grabbed onto my legs, and started swaying me back and forth. I was born with cerebral palsy. I was diagnosed with a very weird cancer. I got down under the water and it opened up this whole new world for me under the ocean. And for me, that's a totally different experience. It's, it's such a sense of freedom for me. Um, it gives me the opportunity to get out of my wheelchair, which, you know, wheelchair basketball and alpine skiing, I'm always connected to this piece of equipment. Scuba for me is empowerment and life definitely, life definitely unleashed. With there being no limitations, it's, it's very empowering. Scuba diving is an amazing sport, it's an amazing activity. But the most important thing is you realize that under the water you don't have any limitations, you don't have any disability, you are able to fly. You know, being a first time scuba diver, it didn't take long for me after I was underwater just to forget that I was disabled. I'm just in the water like anyone else and I might be swimming with my arms instead of my feet, but for one of the first times in my life I didn't feel so different which is a great feeling. It's amazing to look around and not feel like you are this totally different, isolated person. I, I fit right in under there. You know, for once I'm like everybody else and that feeling, you know, no one can take away from you and that's what I strive for and what I love about the sport in general is that being able to just be out of the chair is, is a remarkable feeling. My proudest moment was when I actually um, received my PADI card. It was just the thing that I could show people that said, you know, I, I succeeded at this, I conquered this, and even though it was hard, it paid off in the end. I think having the, um, the PADI Adaptive Scuba program, it'll actually help get people with disabilities through the door. When we talk about adaptive scuba, it's not that the person with the disability is adapting to the sport, it's the sport that adapts to the person and their body composition or their needs or their abilities, as well as the instructor. They say adaptive scuba, but it's not really, I mean, I had to learn everything else that everybody else has to learn in order to safely execute a dive and have a fun and safe time under the water. So there's just different ways of doing little things like that, but the skills are exactly the same. There's nothing changed in the curriculum. When I was able to work with somebody with prior experience to adaptive scuba, it took all the guesswork out of whether or not I was going to be taken care of. And for me, that brought a sense of confidence going into the experience and also, you know, I just knew that they were going to adapt and overcome whatever challenge got thrown at us. I try to count my blessings every day and in doing so knowing that I have these um, uh, abilities that I need to share that with people who, who may not have the same abilities and so that's where the adaptive instruction comes in where we take our time, we get to know our students and then um, it provides us with that opportunity or a vehicle to um, adapt uh, the equipment for them to be able to achieve their goal of becoming a paddy scuba diver. The adaptive program is really just going to educate everybody in terms of different challenges that people with disabilities have and then it doesn't have to be such a big part of the experience. They just understand it and then they can focus on scuba. Sometimes people asking me if I had the chance to go back to my older life, I will, and I say no way. The most important thing is do what you like to do and have some passion. And this is scuba diving for me. It's passion. It's pure passion. It's the place that I can find myself in the best place that I can be on earth. The ocean gave me my life back.